I was really intrigued at the dual concept. I really wanted everything from the public health standpoint in terms of learning about uh, epidemiology and evaluation. But social work gave this amazing side to it as well, where you can really dig down into an issue, see what is really driving people's behaviors, people's motives. So I was really intrigued by the offering of those two degrees together, and that was the biggest pull for me for the Brown School. I started working for Dr. Jason Purnell, doing a lot of literature reviews and research on financial incentives for not only weight loss and nutrition, but also what motivates people to make changes that they need to to stay healthy. And that has been an amazing experience. I've worked with Jason for the three years that I've been here. And in my last two years, I've been working with Dr. Aaron Hip, doing a lot of mapping and environmental assessments, looking at the impacts of the built environment on health and health behaviors. Throughout my time at the Brown School, I've been very interested in the impacts on health of the natural and built environment. And so impacts being behavior choices, um, but also what people have access to in different communities and what that means for health, both positive and negative. I'm really interested in what the impact of that is. How can we make our environments healthier? How can we make them more accessible to everybody uh, who can benefit from them? And so whether that's planting trees, putting in bike lanes, building a farmer's market or a grocery store, who are the people that are going to benefit from them and what can we do to make those accessible to everybody?